Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for July 15th to the 21st. This is for Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising. And we're going to jump right into it, Sagittarius. Look at this week. Look at this week. If you are looking for change in your life, oh, it's going to happen. You see that we're kicking off this week on July 15th with Mars conjuncting Uranus. I've talked about this. This is, uh, if not the most powerful aspect, the biggest aspect of the month. It is one of the most of the year, one of the biggest of the year. And then you see we close it out with a very powerful full moon in Capricorn. All right, so let's start with, with Monday, okay? Let's start with Monday. Mars conjuncting Uranus and Taurus. This is going to be really, really powerful. Conjunctions are powerful, by the way. So uh, Mars and Uranus are in a Venus-ruled sign. And so they're kind of like bringing a little disruption to her harmony. This is one of those aspects where you can start feeling a little bit of a shakeup, okay? A little bit of a shakeup. Uh, it, you know, Mars conjuncting Uranus, a little bit of a disruptor. Now, it could be something where you, it feels a little bit more intense. What's adding to that intensity is because the moon will be in Scorpio that day. And so the moon in Scorpio is a little, you know, it has a little uh, intensity to it. Uh, with Uranus in, 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 in a type of aspect like this, in this type of conjunction, you really don't know what to expect. The Uranus is all about surprises. It's the unexpected. It's unpredictable. It's, you know, it's like a baby reveal party. You don't know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Uh, you don't know if the magician standing over there is going to pull out, you know, a, a bunny, uh, you know, uh, flowers, whatever it is. You just don't know. You just don't know. However, you could possibly have an idea. OK, this is a powerful conjunction. You could feel it a few days before. All right. Now, the fact the moon is going to be in Scorpio for you, Sagittarius that is your 12th house 12th house is intuition so you could have a really heightened intuition around this time as well now uranus itself is radical it's revolutionary all right it's that rebellious energy that uranus brings but uranus is also freedom it's also freeness it's also you know uh liberation so there could be something here this rebellious energy it could be you it could be you surprising yourself by you know breaking free for something you're just like oh i just you know don't want to be at this job anymore whatever it is there could be something here where it's part of your transformation story you did see greece didn't you you know about sandra d you saw her by the end of the movie she knew what she wanted she knew what she wanted so this could be your awakening this could be a really big great awakening and again if you're ready to make a big change i mean uh especially if you feel maybe like again like stuck in a situation something around this time could really show you the way all right you did that uh, uh, that uh, volcano and side Science class when you're in third grade, right? You know, it, baking powder, vinegar. Mm -hmm. So it is like that. You get a little bit of rumbles before the lava flows. That's a conjunction, okay? A little bit of rumbles after. So just know that there's going to be some gears being shifted around this time. Now, Mars conjuncting Uranus in Taurus, that is your sixth house. That is everyday activity. So something about your everyday life could actually change. There could be something really big here where it is, you know, maybe a new job that happens. I mean, this is your sixth house. Sixth house is also work. There's it's work. It's, uh, you know, the process of work, hiring employees, things like that. Someone could, you know, uh, one of your favorite employees could suddenly quit, like things like that. You just uh, there is that unpredictability that comes with this kind of aspect. Now, always direct your energy and a high vibration, especially this day. This kind of aspect also is, you know, has associated with like accidents, being accident prone. So again, be very mindful this day, please be very mindful uh, and just be aware. Always, you always want to be aware in the moment anyway. Now on Tuesday, July 16th, you got Mercury moving into shadow. All right. So I'm bringing this up because I've mentioned Mercury is going retrograde in August, pretty much the entire month, pretty much the entire month. And Mercury is going to be going retrograde in August in uh, Virgo, right? So uh, that's your 10th house of career. So a lot of career stuff now, you know, coming after this Uranus, uh, uh, Mars conjunction in Taurus in your sixth house, which is work. So you see the two overlapped in yours, uh, you, what's happening for you. So just put ducks in a row now. Anything that you need to get done now, anything that even goals that you're going toward, I would start doing it now before you start feeling the slowdown of Mercury retrograde because Mercury retrograde in August is 
going to be retrograde with three other planets that are retrograde. So half the solar system basically retrograde. The other thing is, and I've mentioned this before, uh, this is a day where it's, you know, Mercury in shadow. It's basically Mercury taking an ambient. Okay. So he's still awake, still awake. August is when he's going to bed. So Sure, it's but he's a little like ooh. so again. You definitely want to put like ducks in a row, get things done, get things done. This is also we also have a water trine this day. Uh, moon in Scorpio, Sun in Cancer, and Neptune in Pisces could be like a very emotionally moving day, even heightened intuition around this time. Now Thursday, July eighteenth, you've got Sun six high Uranus. Here's your breakthrough. Here's the breakthrough that you were seeking. This is absolutely amazing. This is really, really auspicious. Now, Mercury and Leo will be trining Chiron in Aries this day. One of the reasons I bring this up is because Mercury is in Leo in your ninth house of spirituality. Chiron is the wounded healer. There is healing work. You could be doing a lot of healing. Remember, Sun is in Cancer too. All right. So that intuitive energy, a lot of compassion around this. Again, intuitive energy, a lot of intuitive work that you could be doing that could be really, really nice on a day when the sun is sextiling Uranus. Again, it's very harmonious. Now, Saturday, July 20th, Mars sextiling Neptune. This is also at 29 degrees. I mean, this is enormous. I've talked about Mars and Neptune, two planets that couldn't be the complete opposite from each other getting along but finding ways to get along and making things happen for you. Now, this is heightened intuition, heightened, uh, you know, even compassion, empathy, spirituality, uh, even dreams. Now, it is happening in your fourth house. There could be something here that's really, really moving, something that is really, you know, even there's that nurturing energy here as well. But Mars really amplifying things in terms of home, because remember, this is your fourth house, your domestic sector, home, significant other parents, children, real estate even property keep that in mind now you see mars is moving into gemini on the same day mars is going to be in gemini from this point forward until september 4th so you see that overlap mars with jupiter okay your ruling planet by the way this is going to be huge huge because gemini rules your seven thousand partnerships and relationships so there's something forming here there's something forming here that's a lot of action. That's a lot of drive. All right. And it can be career. It can be love and romance, but you're going to feel it. So much passion, so much passion. Remember Mars and Gemini is, you know, communication anyway. So you could be finding yourself communicating a lot more, communicating what you need. There's a lot of mental stimulation here, learning new things, a lot of curiosity, but just think about that passion and that drive that Mars is now bringing into Jupiter, all about wisdom, all about expansion, good luck, prosperity. You've got Jupiter here for an entire year until June 2025 but Mars is amping things up now it really is is it's it's wild it's like a soap opera it's like uh it's like Sofia Vergara all right in modern family just that passion but a lot of passion of the mind here with Gemini all right so gaining a lot of uh, knowledge you can feel like a sponge around this time really absorbing things at times you may even feel like a vacuum like absorbing so much like you really really will feel this again it is happening in seven, your seventh house partnerships and relationships now Mars and Gemini remember I said is also restless energy so remember to you can feel like very restless very restless um, remember to direct all your focus into your passions make things count make this uh, really ignite your passions uh you could even think back to mars was in gemini at the end of 2022 all right into 2023 you could think about that time sure you could think about that time to see themes around that time i mean it was in a different uh you know a lot of different things were happening around that time but just themes of mars and gemini Think about what you were thinking about. Think about what was happening around that time. Uh, what was percolating, all right? Just to give you an idea of, of what may be, you know, coming around this time. Now, Sunday, Ju July 21st, pff, there you go. We got that full moon in, in, in Capricorn, this blue moon. It's huge, all right? Now, I did that separate video on the full moons in Capricorn because, remember, this is back-to-back -to, -back to the full moon in Capricorn that we had in June, okay? Very rare to have back-to-back -back full moons in general. You see, this day is like a traffic jam. There's so much happening this day. Now, this full moon in Capricorn, remember, Capricorn rules your second house. Income, salary, money, finances. So there could be something here 
when you see what's happening throughout this week, a lot of y'all may be getting new jobs. A lot of y'all may be getting promoted. A lot of y'all may be starting your own business. A lot of y'all may be, if you have an agency, uh, maybe, you know, getting more client work. If, you know, you own a company, you may be hiring employees. There's going to be a lot of changes here, but this is at 29 degrees. Remember, this is a critical degree. This is that closing shop all right uh having that karmic release as well now this full moon will be conjuncting pluto so there is this true transformation pluto's death and rebirth there's this true transformation that's happening here this new cycle that is starting for you all right this karmic cycle that i've been talking about remember the second house is also self-worth and self-value so there could be something here where you're you know really coming into like owning like i bring this much value to this i'm going to be compensated for this because there's that element of you know finances involved here uh also with this conjunction of pluto sure there could be some secrets that come out secrets that you even reveal uh, a lot of revelations around this time remember this is a big full moon you may feel it a few days after a few days before know that Venus will sextile Jupiter this day. So you've got the two benefic planets working in your favor. This is very harmonious. This is them making things a lot easier for you. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, Mercury will square Uranus this day as well. All right. So again, Mercury, all about communications. Uranus, all about surprises. You get surprising news around this time. You could also, Mercury is also like logic. It's thinking. It's processing things. It's, you know, gaining new knowledge. As I mentioned earlier, uh, Mercury is a native ruler for Gemini. That's why. Uh, but there is something here where it, you know, you could have this breakthrough, this mental breakthrough. If you felt stuck in some area, there's your breakthrough. Okay. Uh, it could also be something that uh, you, again, part of uh, uh of you surprising yourself with something that you know with this breakthrough that uh, an idea that comes around there is just something here but with mercury squaring uranus know that yes this could also be a thing where there's someone who says something to you that you just did not see coming. All right. This is a day where you really want to trust your intuition, especially remember the full moon in Capricorn, full moon, full moon intuition. Right. Uh, and it illuminates things. And so there's a lot that could happen around this full moon. Uh, but just remember, if you were part of a text group chain and it gets a little heated and you got a response fired up, trust your intuition. Ask yourself. Is this going to make a big difference? Sending this is going to make anything better. As you know, it's like edit, 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 edit. I have to edit myself all the time. So this is just one of those days. Trust your intuition. And then lastly, sun trining Neptune. Actually, that's not last. There's another big one. Sun trining Neptune again at 29 degrees. I love this. Your imagination could be running wild. You could have really heightened compassion around this time. Very spiritual aspect. Again, a lot of this could be with home. A lot of this could be with home matters, especially because it is the fourth house things that have to do with your domestic sector you know uh the sun is actually in cancer at this time so you're still you're going through this transformation there could again something be with money something with money especially like shared resources as well uh like inheritance investments bonuses commissions royalties things like that now uh also this is a day where you could i mean this is such a big day but have a lot more clarity in terms of your path forward, especially because this is a full moon where things are coming to conclusion or culmination now, uh, or turning point. Now with Mars trining Pluto on this same day, these are two of the most powerful planets. These are two of the most powerful planets. This is going to be major. And it's the first time we've ever experienced this. Remember, Pluto is very new in Aquarius, Mars, and Gemini. Come on. This is ha it hasn't happened in 250 years, all right? So nobody on Earth has actually experienced Mars and Gemini trining Pluto and Aquarius. Two air signs, by the way. So a lot going on up here. But really, really, really big. Really big. There's uh, uh, Unless you're a vampire, by the way, then you may have experienced this. Uh, very supportive energy. Remember, trying are auspicious these uh, take action this is let's get along let's get the let's get it done that type of energy really really inspiring energy acting upon change this is change remember pluto death and rebirth transformation this is going to be big there could be some big conversation that you have around this time for you particularly sagittarius with pluto and aquarius in your third house uh but this is you calling the shots pluto this is all about empowerment all about empowerment, all about courage. This is you being the boss. Take that action. 
You have the power to transform your life. This is a great, great time to do it. You've got this supportive aspect for you. All right. So uh, Sagittarius, let's get to it. Let's see what's going on for you for the week of July 15th to the 21st. For Sagittarius, Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius moon. And if you want to read for any other placements in your chart, you are absolutely welcome to. So Sagittarius, th July 15th to the 21st. All right, Sagittarius. So. I do a traditional cult across spread. It's, it offers the best overview of the week. If we need to pull clarifiers, you know that we will. Sagittarius, y'all are amazing. Y'all crack me up. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. You know I love y'all. All right, let's see what's let's see what's going on for you. Oh, Kate. Mm, wow. Ta you are going to listen. This is a week of breakthroughs. You're definitely going to have it. You're definitely going to have it. This is going to be a big, 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 big week for you. Uh, wow. Wow. So, all right, let's get, let's get to it. Let's get to it. You got the seven of wands. Um, you, it's almost like you were in a position you could have felt a little bit of a squeeze you could have felt a little bit of a squeeze maybe it was something that you're really passionate about it could have been something career related as well maybe even creative blocks but there could have been a sense of you really really pulling through it okay really really pulling through it uh and passing it now all right there could have been other people involved remember even with venus opposite pluto from last week remember there was those jealousy vibes there could have been people that was jealous envious of you maybe a position maybe you getting a lot of attention getting credit for things there could have been a lot of that energy that was happening if you don't if you remember you did get the seven of wands in your crown last time all right now it's in your past all right so uh moving moving past it you're like over it let's move past that but this is great because it's standing your ground now in the heart of your spread you have the ace of swords boom all right boom you've got this is major breakthrough remember i talked about having that mental breakthrough this week there you go swords the air suit the mental suit logic thinking uh intellect all of that even communication but yeah this is going to be big is there a big breakthrough you're going to have absolutely victorious absolutely uh even like uh peace uh it's there's like the sense of peace with other people if you've been not seeing eye to eye there is a sense of you know, like making peace and and getting along uh but a lot of power here this is the biggest sword okay with great power comes great responsibility but it seems like there is this new direction that you're moving a lot of big ideas that could come up this week okay uh there is there's there's a lot happening for you contracts contracts y'all got signing anything y'all signing anything there could be something with contracts but there is this again aces ushering that new change new beginnings new cycle come on with the full moon in capricorn remember i said that's in your third house of communication like come on this is going to be big there really could be an important conversation that you have maybe an agreement that you make as well uh but there is uh really really something stimulating as well now you do have the empress so you got the empress in your challenge area all right so one thing that's coming to mind uh well two things actually the first thing is remember i said venus will be sex on jupiter really really great aspect but with an aspect like that with its two uh you know benefics there is a tendency to overindulge so that's just be mindful of that remember jupiter is your ruling planet sex like venus at this time all right so uh that you know the empress is venus here aphrodite a goddess you can even see the symbol of venus in the stone-shaped heart so just keep that in mind and it may be because it could be in a, a you know putting you in a situation where uh people are looking at you like why why you know they got why they got 20 teddy bears and, and i only got one uh the other thing is this could be someone else that is uh when I say not seeing eye to eye with some people this week, it might, it, yeah, it, it may be. And you could still be feeling that Venus opposite Pluto, all right? There really, really could be something there because it's such a big aspect. But there really could be something here, someone here with the Empress where, yeah, there's someone here that maybe has uh you know is a little all over the place maybe uh, not making any sense to you is something that's coming up for me but there is someone here who could be also 
so indulgent in their ways. All right. And that's what you're just like, oh, and you got to really see eye to eye. Another thing that's coming up is kind of like mean girl's energy, mean girl's energy. So remember, be very diplomatic. That's what Venus wants. Be very diplomatic. Always remember, you know, let karma work its magic. Should you be in a situation with someone and, you know, just you know, like I always say, be responsive, not reactive. Now, you also have the seven of cups in your crown. This is a time where you will, it seems like you're going to have that breakthrough. So this is saying that just know what you want, know what you want. All these cups are very different. Okay. This is saying that, uh, yeah, you may be thinking a lot of different opportunities this week. Really go with your intuition, really go with your heart. That's what Saturn, Nept Neptune, uh, retrograde is there for you. Okay. To have those moments to reassess things. Okay. Really, really spend that time reassessing things. This is a Scorpio card. Remember I said Scorpio does rule your 12th house. So there could be even things like on this like deep subconscious level for y'all but trusting your intuition that's what the 12th house is as well now hello interesting interesting did you see your last week's reading you had the 10 of pentacles in your final outcome okay and now it is in your main spread this week so a lot of y'all could have had those moments in family that feels really really good a lot of y'all could have had you know this card is highly associated with inheritance you could have inherited something you could have gotten something a uh, money it's pentacles it's wealth but also your physical reality so something that came through could have been that you know a toyota camry that you wanted whatever it is whatever it is whatever you do look how big this castle is so again really big home activity here remember y'all are going through a lot of home stuff in general uh so this is really great you could be feeling that but there is a sense of like what is the next step right what is the next step uh this is coming into your physical world like your physicality as well appreciating the things that you have in your physical world but this is um really really nice this is uh prosperity this is i say it's like the you made it card really really great it's showing up in your main spread it's it's absolutely amazing a lot of y'all can feel it in career too remember this is a virgo card and virgo does rule your 10th house of career public recognition honors achievements fame as well and you know we are going to be eventually moving into virgo season a lot of planets there you're going to feel a lot more of that uh, you know in the next uh, coming coming few weeks now you got the tower in your future so with Mars conjuncting Uranus, remember I said there's a little bit of that shakeup. And this is a card where it is, you know, you see the lightning, Uranus, right? Striking the crown off the tower. And so this represents like ego. So there, and I'm not saying that you have any, a big ego or anything like that. It's just saying that's what this card is. There could be something that you feel is your path forward, but it may not be. And then the fact that you have this seven of cups in your crown, it really is saying have that moment, hold on to this breakthrough energy, have that breakthrough. Okay. I think that a lot of y'all will, you see that, uh, here's the thing. This card is attributed to Mars. All right. So you're really going to feel that Mars energy. All right. Especially with a Mars conjuncting Uranus. Uh, but then also Mars moving into Gemini. That's just really, really amped up energy too. in your seven thousand of partnerships and relationships, but this is unexpected okay this is an unexpected moment that is happening here and so i always say this never fear the tower card okay because if you do uh because i know a lot of uh you know uh people when they see this they're like ah but the tower moment it happens for you not to you and if you do like fear this card you're already building this low energy uh low energy frequency all right so you don't want to do that for yourself again what comes after the tower, the star, the card of healing, the card of stars aligning for you. So again, there is a sense of something happening here that's happening for you. One of those things where, you know, something may happen in the moment. It could feel a little like, ah, or chaotic. Um, and you may see it unfavorably, but then a day later, two days later, even a week later, maybe even a month later, you realize, actually, that was the best thing for me because now I see this is my path forward. And I see that wasn't something that I wanted. So, um, and I'll even clarify that for you. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely 1000% fine. And it can have to do with partnerships and relationships. Now, remember what, how does that resonate with you? Is it career? Is it love? All right. It's partnerships, partnerships, the lovers. All right. I mean, this is the lovers. First of all, this card is attributed to Gemini. Gemini rules your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So, uh, it seems like something is opening up for you. Okay. You see 
Archangel Raphael, the healer. All right. So you've got a lot of healing coming from this and uh, blessings and terms of love and turn. Look at the full abundance of the sun here. The sun is opportunity. It's abundance. It's, 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 it's optimism. It's vitality. It's growth. It's amazing is what it is. All right. And you see that uh, you've got the power. You've got the power now. So Archangel Raphael is gifting you with all this love. It's up to you to decide what to do with it. You have the power, all right? The power to choose. The power to choose, too. So really nice. Again, it can be career. If you're here for career, you got a lot of career stuff happening here. Let's get to your stuff. Oh, my goodness. Sagittarius, another big week. Uh, if you like this reading, it would be great. If you like, subscribe, leave comments. Tell me what's going on, y'all. Um, and you know I love you. Y'all are amazing. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Some of y'all may find out that there is someone doing something, you know, behind your back, something, you know, uh, dishonest, deceitful, that kind of energy. It could be the tower moment leads up to the tower moment. It could be that breakthrough that you have like, oh, I see that now. Uh, but you do also have the three of pentacles. So there is this is a card of teamwork working together. OK, there is this sense of something new happening as well with the fact that it is three, one and two new reality. Right. So uh, and, you know, three all coming from the Empress card three. So we're resonating from that. But this is working with others for success could be projects could be even like within family could be you know career colleagues uh but there is a sense of that's what you're feeling that's your, where your vibes shifting you want to work with others to this capacity that's just really nice a lot of bonding as well a lot of bonding as well and i encourage it i absolutely encourage it now you have the seven of swords all right so very interesting here in your external factors and that's why i say there could be something here that's uh you know fueling a lot of change here something where you recognize someone is being um you know possibly un, you know deceitful dishonest that's what this card is this is a card where it's like lying cheating stealing uh, you know all those low energy frequencies but he's stealing the swords in broad daylight and so it's saying he can be caught and will be caught and it's in your external factors area so there is someone that is likely doing that that could again be your tower moment here. It could be something in terms of work. It could be something, you know, with a romantic partner. Uh, it could even be like, a, a, you know, like a child or, or whatnot. But uh, landlord, even you have so much home stuff happening, maybe even a landlord. So just be aware. I think that you will. Um, right here, you're gonna have that breakthrough here. Okay, with the ace of swords, you're gonna have that tower moment, but then it leads to the lovers. So it's opening up this path for you for it's something really special. Now you also have the ace of wands. So you want it. You want it. And you see you got two aces. This is amazing. Uh, ace of wands, uh, the biggest wand in the deck. And so it's your passions. It's your passions, creativity. It's uh, your ambitions as well, but also a lot of work energy with the wands as well. So that's the hand of spirit offering this new opportunity, this new opportunity that's really really nice okay uh so really and that's what you're seeking so a lot of y'all are seeking this you know something new you may not know exactly i'll even clarify this seven of yeah it's you want something new <laughs> you got the magician all right so you i mean whatever it is you've got the power okay just know that you've Listen, we vibrate at, I talk about this all the time, we're all made of energy. We're all made of energy. We vibrate at a certain frequency. You're already attracting if you're made of energy. You're already vibrating. It's a matter of vibrating at that high frequency, okay? And in order to do that, trusting your intuition, having that, you know, opening up your heart chakra, just a lot that, it just uh, having that compassion, that self-love. Uh, you, it, it, it's, it, you, and I'll, I, I'll talk about this in a live stream, but this is absolutely, Absolutely amazing. It is saying that you do want something new anyway. So in a sense, you want this tower moment kind of. I mean, this is really, really insane. And then lastly, you have the air font and your final outcome. Really great. This is you having that, uh, you know, there's a sense of leadership here, a sense of leadership. This is someone who's very confident, who is full of wisdom, as well as a deep sacred knowledge that we all seek. He has it. All right. Uh, very big leader here, spiritual leader as well. Uh, but just in terms of organization as well, he loves organization. He loves, uh, uh, you can see 
Uh, the two people at his feet. Well, he's. This is the first card of the major arcana. Other people appear other than the hair, uh, other than the main figure, and so you can't lead if there's no one to lead. So it seems like there is going to be some influence that you have. You're moving into this place of influence where you know you are being recognized, but also you are just divinely like you are just really, really feeling that intuitive side, that spiritual side. Uh, just really, really. That remember I said earlier like that awakening, your transformation story, it's happening, it's happening. And then remember the magician is all about taking action. This is a very active card. You clearly want to start this new journey. Um, you see all four tools of tarot at his disposal. It's up to you. Where do you want to direct that energy? You see the pentacles, you see the cups, the swords, the wands, you've got that power. You've got to take that action. And with that said, you see the hand of the sky, hand of the ground, pay attention to the hand of the ground, Bring everything up there into your reality. He has the power to do that. Uh, so, yeah, have that breakthrough. Have that breakthrough. You're actually really, really good. There is going to be a moment where, yeah, you may find someone being deceitful or just doing something. Uh, even if it's not, like, that extreme, it just could be someone, like, doing something in a way that you didn't think that they were going to be thinking that way or you're just like oh i thought we were on the same page about this all right so keep that in mind but sagittarius y'all are amazing thanks so much for tuning in uh next week we'll uh we'll talk about uh well we have the sun moving into leo so we get into that stellium there's a lot happening there's a lot happening all right so we'll talk about it next week thanks so much sagittarius if you like this reading it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments tell me what's going on and we'll talk okay we'll talk next week all right i'll see you next Next week. Bye-bye.